Hey everybody, what's going on? Just back with another interesting video for you guys today. So there's been some more polls that's been released. It seems like polls are just being released every day these days, but we do have some very good news as well as very shocking and interesting news. Now, before I do get into that, if you don't mind, please hitting the like and subscribe button as it really does help grow the channel. And also leave your comments in the comment section because I always enjoy engaging with you guys as well. So it looks like they did a recent poll here, which is from only people who are of the age of 18 to 34. So, Canada, if young people aged 18 to 34 can vote, or sorry, if only though these young people voted, the Conservatives will get 253 seats. NDP at 47, Bloc is at 34. Where's the Liberals? Seven seats. So young people, who are usually more liberal people, especially in this very, very liberal country, you'd think they'd be voting toward, towards liberals. Well, the liberals have pissed everyone off, including their most liberal base. To the point where they're going to the conservatives, 250 seats. I mean, that is unbelievable. It's shocking, but it's hilarious. And it's great news. They also showed the popular vote here in a graph. So again, 18 to 34 year olds, conservative party, 47% of the vote. I'm sure this has happened sometime in Canada history, but not recent Canadian history, because young people have always been known for being more liberal. 14% of the popular vote for the liberals, 23 for the NDP, 40, I can't get over that. That's almost 50% of the vote going to the conservatives from generally speaking their most the most loyal liberal base right there's this saying right you know if you're if you're young and liberal or sorry if you if you're young and conservative you don't have a heart and if you're old and liberal you don't have a brain generally as you get older people become a little bit more conservative especially with fiscal policies well apparently this is a start at a young age now the kids are waking up the kids are learning 47 percent that is just incredible um it's hilarious and then i have something out else here where let me just pull this up here so it's it's a poll that was posted from 338 canada and it says the margin of error for an online sample is not applicable fair enough for comparison Sorry, for comparison purposes, a random sample of this size would yield a margin error of about 2.5%. That ain't enough to save you, Justin Trudeau. It just isn't. And the sample size of this was 100, or sorry, 1,556 people, which is pretty normal for polls, right? They're usually somewhere between, you know, 1,000, 2,000. Sometimes they're a little bit more, but this is a pretty fair size considering, you know, how how many people usually do polls breakdown by region atlantic canada 47 percent. now again liberals in atlantic canada they're it's a very it's usually a liberal stronghold maybe not a stronghold but it's it's definitely left leaning out there now but again 47 percent for the conservatives ontario 43 percent, and then look at this alberta 68 percent. saskatchewan 61 percent. british columbia Another super area, a super liberal slash NDP area. The NDP is in third, barely, but they're in third. British Columbia, 51% conservatives. I mean, this is a right, or at least a Canadian right wing movement that I've never seen before. Now, again, I'll be very honest with you. I haven't been into politics that long. Again, I'm sure it's happened, but I've never personally witnessed a, this many young people just leaving the liberal and the NDP party. Some of them have left the Liberal Party to go over to the NDPs, but most of them don't do that. They're going over to the Conservatives. It's 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 wild. I mean, I was so shocked when I was just scrolling through Twitter earlier on my lunch break, and I was like, wait, what is this? What's happening here? Craziness. So, I mean, even like the left wing of the vote, 23 uh, plus 8 is 31. So even if all three com parties combined, they're only getting 45%. <laughs> they're still not winning even the popular vote and they're not going to win the riding any ridings either. Now, generally speaking, 
35 to I think they do 35 to 55 that's also usually a more conservative uh, age group and you're gonna see them continue to vote conservative they're not flipping to the left right that's my age group we're the we're the ones who are the most angry with liberals <laughs> 47 I just want to make that clear 47 percent of the popular vote with the the youngest group of voters now people who are boomers a bit a little bit older they've for some reason have switched liberal over the years and they don't seem to be going back in droves like the young people or like people my age, but enough older people are still conservative. It's like, okay, we don't really need them. I mean, when you see numbers like this, and again, let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm always very interested to hear what you guys have to say, but when you see these kind of numbers, especially after we're told oh the liberal i mean the liberal party says this a lot and how good they're doing and how they're trying to work for canadians well this is how canadians feel about you your most loyal base generally speaking has turned their back on you 14 percent. now what's even funnier is that if an election is not called which is possible if we do have to wait for another year this number is going to go down even more it could be in the double or sorry in the single digits the liberal party amongst their strongest base could be in single digits on average in the country even including places like ontario bc and atlantic canada I mean, this is mind-blowing i mean i don't know maybe you guys are less shocked than i am but I, my mind is completely blown in a good way i'm very happy about this i'm just very shocked but let me know what you guys think are you shocked as you are you as shocked as i am about this were you expecting it were you expecting it to be more? Are you expecting it to become more? Do you think that this this age group can hit 50%? Do you think that it's possible Pierre Polyev hits 25, or sorry, 250 seats? Because, you know, when I see something like this, it makes me think it is possible. I don't know about that. And, I mean, and again, we'll have to see if there's an election, right? I mean, the, the conservatives are going to continue to put forward... A, um, votes of non a motion to have a vote of non-confidence they're not likely to get it passed however the block has said and they made it clear if trudeau doesn't give them what they want they will put forward a motion of non-confidence and surely the conservatives will vote for them or vote, vote with them rather if the ndp does it the conservatives will vote with them so it's very likely that if there is a vote of non-confidence passed, it's not going to be one that's brought forward by the Conservatives. It will likely be one that's um, brought forward by the Bloc or the NDP. And then it's all over. Then we have an election. And we can finally get the change that we need and we deserve as Canadians. So again, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I always appreciate you guys who engage with me. Uh, also, please don't forget again to like and subscribe as it really helps grow the channel. Thanks again so much for watching, guys, and I'll be back shortly with a new video.